you for just how he has spared the saints and kept the color with his blood. Amen. Praise the Lord God and to my own pastor, the pastor of this church, and to all the saints of God and the preacher of the Lord being here. I'm about to introduce our speaker on tonight, Apostle L.C. Nance, my companion, my best friend. You know, I appreciate God for him standing on the word of God. Amen. And if the word you uh, step on your toes as Mother Thomas said, say, you need to you need to be stepped on. So you know, <laughs> you know the word of God is right, and we know we're gonna hear a word on tonight. Let everyone stand and receive the man. Get your heart out. I saw my old folk talk this. 
but I don't see the Bible where it came to hell where a brother look hard. Amen. It's in there. It's right. Oh, Paul used to sing a song if it was good enough for Paul and Silas, it's good enough for me. Amen. 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 But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you what my subject is for today, man. The Lord gave me. I don't ever want to come and say what I want to say, man. But let me read a few scriptures to you first and let the ground work so you understand where I'm coming from. Ezekiel 22 and 30, the Lord said, And I sought for a man among them yes. that should make up the hedge oh, yes. and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Come on, you go. Then we find in 2 Kings 3 and 11, but Jehoshaphat said, Is thou not here a prophet of the Lord? That we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the kings of Israel's servant answered and said, Here is Elijah, the son of Shaker, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And the Lord used that to give me a subject, God wants somebody to read. <laughs> You look like people of Alma does. Now Paul told you if a man desires all of us of a bishop, an overseer, ain't nothing wrong with that. You desire a good work. But Paul wanted to let you know all the qualifications God required of you. You better know what you're doing before you pick up this thing and get up here. You say God called you? Amen. If you get up here, you'll be making it look like a fool when the money comes. You find out over there God's going to get your kid a two for such a free, but get your early grade too. If you ain't got a mind made up, if God didn't put you there, you're going to soon feel right. Come on, like a, a, a rocket, I believe when they had the Space Shuttle Challenge, they took off with a blast of fire, looking just as glorious and majestic as it could. But just when they said challenge of far enough, it blew up. All right, now That's the way you're going to be out here without God. God wants somebody to read. Right. Now, Paul told you that everybody preaches the mind of God. Some are preaching for contention, some passing because they got a gift. Oh, some passing because they told me I had made like a preacher. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Some preaching because they, they went to the seminary, they learned to what right in the Bible, the word, not right in the Bible, but they back off that. They learned the letter of God's heart. Right. They can quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but they don't know who the heart is. They don't know Jesus. They didn't get that revelation of Peter, right? right. So even though they got the letter, Doctor this, doctor that. Paul says the letter kill it, but the spirit gave the light. God, you ain't gonna hear nobody not even to say. God, if for somebody who's gonna stand up and preach his doctrine, first of all, Paul said the husband and the laborer must be first to take on the fruit. If you ain't willing to live this day, if ain't good enough for you to live it, it ain't good enough for you to have to hand it out to somebody else. Do you hear what I'm saying? God is the real people. And one thing about the bishop, the world knows who real and who ain't. We in a time now when folks come in off the street, they got gifts, Minister Spell. They slap the Islam on the Holy Ghost, but they got gifts. They can look and see who real and who ain't. You can get up for the whole nine night, night, he come on Hyundai, Chevrolet, whatever. They know who real and who ain't. Come in, they won't pray, they're gonna walk right in and go to somebody who reads. Yes, right. Well, if they're hell raised, they ain't for no and, and by right. nothing, they will set by you if they know you in their way. All right, all right. Look out, man. But out of all the lights, let me go a little further. Romans 2 and 24, Paul said, For the name of God is blessed among the Gentiles through you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. How many of us have called the Lord, the name of the Lord be brought to no more shame because of our regular lifestyle? Amen. Testify to be holy, but on our jobs and Walmart or wherever else we go, we don't look like it. All right, man. All right, Jesus. Uh -huh. In church, you walk in with a dress, dress down, dragging the floor. Uh -huh. Everything closed up properly. But a few minutes after the service over, I go to Walmart. I'm like, praise the Lord, Ellen. And I'm looking at that voice now for me, but I don't see nobody I recognize. Well, uh, uh, the chicken wing off. All right. The dress that was down, dragging the floor, the holy knees now. Uh -huh. 
No sign, mom. Your feet that your toes are stretched to the ground. And then when they walk, with the old toe shoe center, you walk. Praise the Lord, every pop card. I'm like, who is that? The voice sounds familiar, but I got to look at you time to figure out who you is. All right, man. If your legs ain't gonna show in check, well, boy, we need to shouldn't show in Walmart. Amen. All right, all right. Amen. We talking about the standards of holders. Like when you're real, this thing real. Like that's one of the main things that people are talking about. They don't see how certain clothing gonna take you to hell, well, yeah. but it comes under the laws of modesty. Amen. Jesus, whom Paul preached. Oh, yeah. right. And 
Now there were seven sons of one sheep, a, a Jew, a chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said unto them, Listen, man, I told you well I know you. Jesus I know. All right now. And they ever come to my bishop and whoever you ever tell you I know them. Because they real. But what they want to say, but who are you? Amen. And the man who the evil spirit of the Lord leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of their house naked in the morning. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling in Ephesus. Well, I'm going to tell you, God wants somebody that's real because the who wants to have to get back.
and all of our spell, took our chicken heads. We can't do that. My one told them, what's going on? So wait, wait, don't why the king so answer? That let, let me let me in the bar. Let me let me see. I'm real. My Lord. I'm real. Uh, all right. Let me see my God. Yeah. I got me proud. Yeah. Yeah. My Lord. Me sad. Yeah. And then the Lord. Now if I'm gonna get a job, but I'm gonna go to sub with them. And he was real, but he wouldn't ask for some help, and they wanted to pray and fast. Praise him. After a while, he come back. And you know the hula was the cow Lord. Come on, I hope you got it. The hula was making peace with him, but he and I say to me, like, he told himself, Lord, that was told me what the dream was. He revealed a dream to him, and then gave the interpretation. Right. Lord, I want somebody to hear. That's the problem with this, amen. That's the beginning of being lifted up over the hula. Then he was given a position, amen. The Hebrew boy was given a position. Do you hear what I'm saying? All right. What about us? When we put to the challenge, when we be real enough, that man, for God to be elevated, to be glorified. Oh, People nowadays, you say something about being saved, they go how about Jim Jones? And all the gyms, and what they, what they done next up? The saints are like, oh, but all right, judge me by what I do. All right. We Hebrew boys, we going up against King Nebuchadnezzar. Hey man, know this old king, man. we ain't got to be careful to answer you. I don't care what happened, you can play all the music you want, we ain't gonna bother your music. Hey, now wait, 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 I know y'all misunderstood me, boy. I like y'all. Y'all hear me now, I remember y'all. I put y'all over my folks, over the progress and stuff. Uh huh, great. Try them up one more time, boy. Let them hear, maybe they'll understand me. We ain't gonna do it. Right. They play them again, they didn't buy them. Amen. Then he's the five. And look around, the camera wasn't coming, wasn't nobody coming, wasn't no angel coming down. Wow. But even if God don't deliver us, he labels, but we don't be real. And because they were real with the Lord, because they stood in there, when they went in the fire, he was sitting there, somebody went there and saw they put three in. But I see somebody else in there. Amen. Right. Jesus. When they came out, they were real. So real that they didn't even smell like smoke. Thank you. 
made a whole lot of man ask me, is that a prophet or Lord Jesus? I want somebody real. I saw them in the face. I saw them in the face. Oh, yeah. We thank and praise the Lord. 